final speaker is Christina Albright. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Council Members. I'm going to be the only standout that stands up here by myself and tells you how disappointed I am in you that you didn't seek any community input before deciding on a $5 million contract, essentially. That is over $150,000 per bed for what, by your own numbers and your own report, is for about 83 people who cannot stay more than six months each. There is no commitment that I've seen by any of you to take any community input in this. Not one of you showed up to the two meetings. I went from beginning to end of each of those meetings, and the temporary winter sanctuary last year had several times, I think, that people were allowed to speak. I use the term meeting very loosely because that was not a meeting. As my husband and I are both retired from the city of Elk Grove as employees, we're both quite aware of what it looks like to try and circumvent the system and have people not really have a chance to have a voice or be able to rally up and speak in opposition of something like this. It was done in secrecy. It was obviously done in secrecy because a day after the lease was signed, all of a sudden there's community meetings and a 227-page report that comes out a few days later. I would like, as a member of this community who's been here my whole life, third generation Elk Grovian, who's lived here my entire life, who's gone from kindergarten through high school to, in this town, the commitment of each of you to open up for this permanent shelter that's supposedly going to take place in 2025, that the rest of us get to be part of that discussion. I understand that this is a done deal, and there's nothing I can say. I live 900 feet, my front door to the front door of this place. That church has been an eyesore, and it is low-hanging, fiscally poor fruit right now because they are struggling. Yes, it, the sidewalks and the tree branches and all those things, I loved the idea that you guys are going to come in there and clean it all up. But frankly, putting chain link fences and showers and outdoor toilets and if we've got dog runs and whatever, because not everybody seemed to have known exactly how that's going to play out when I went to the community meetings. And when I went from booth to booth, someone said, oh, go ask that person that. And I went over and asked them. And I said, well, they said they're going to have this. We're not going to have that. There's no plans for that. So I think you guys got ahead of yourselves and did this little secret squirrel deal that you did before getting any input from the community. That there's an elementary school, that there's two detox houses, there's multiple elderly care and disabled dependent adult care homes within a thousand feet of that place. I would like the commitment from each city council member to seek more community input, whether you need to come up with, you know, we've got councils for every stinking thing in this town. We've got trails and trash and the chief's council and everything else. I want there to be a council for the homeless project in this town, and I would like to have it be well represented by nonprofits, by citizens that live in all different areas, by business owners, and everyone who's going to be affected by this. So I would like a commitment from the city to be able to be more involved in any dialogue going forward about a permanent location, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.